Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about reporting in uh, next gen project. So I was playing with, uh, with next gen project quite a lot recently and uh, I was also interested in uh, the reporting capabilities. And the good thing is that when you are working on a next gen project, you do have uh, some reports that you can use. And uh, if you are working on a fresh new next gen project i recommend you to take a look at the uh, project settings of your uh, next gen project and if you take a look at the features you have different features that you can uh, enable or disable based on of course your requirements so the first feature is roadmap which is quite good and then you have backlog sprints and you also have some other features but the important feature that i was actually interested in is uh, report now i already have reports enabled in my project and if you take a look at the reports that are uh, there in your uh, project in built reports you can take a look at the reports where you can uh, uh, probably analyze uh, the information of your uh, sprints uh, and of course you have some uh, standard reports like burn down and burn up and you also have a velocity report that will only be applicable when you have uh, at least uh, one sprint completed and you also have a you also have a cumulative uh, flow diagram so you do have some reporting capabilities in uh, our next gen project but i was wondering whether i can do a bit more so what i tried to do i tried to create a custom dashboard with issues from a next gen project so if i go to my dashboard i actually uh, created a dashboard a fresh blank clean dashboard called next gen dashboard and on that particular dashboard i tried to pull the information from a next gen project so this was something that i was curious to basically try and uh, to my surprise i was able to use the next gen project so if you look at this uh, dashboard i am using uh, the standard gadgets that you might be familiar with like a sprint burn down chart or rather sprint burn down gadget time since chart you have a sprint health gadget recently a created chart uh, two dimensional filter statistics you also have uh, something called as a pie chart uh, which is of course uh, very useful because you can uh, use a pie chart to break up the information that you have in your issues based on uh, any field and uh, you can take a look at issues in progress which is something that you can do uh, i believe uh, uh, I mean, there is also a similar pie chart uh, report called, I believe, uh, uh, issue statistics where you can use uh, any field and you can have uh, statistics based on that particular field, like how many issues are in progress, how many issues are in uh, done status. Of course, we're talking about status here, but you can use uh, maybe resolution or maybe you can use priority. So the point here is that uh, you can still use uh, your dashboards your standard familiar dashboards and you can uh, pull in data from uh, next gen project so this is something that i was able to do of course uh, uh, when you talk about the next gen projects you don't really have uh, the full capabilities of uh, a standard or i should say classic uh, jira software project but i believe uh, when you talk about the advantages next gen project uh, comes with a lot of uh, useful features that i'm sure uh, you uh, want to use because uh, when you create a next gen project you don't really need to rely on your jira administrator to add a new field in your project and uh, i think next gen i think when you talk about the next gen projects they are uh, uh, in the right direction because i believe this year in 2020 there will be a lot of improvements in the next gen project there is a roadmap that you can uh, take a look at where you can follow the upcoming features 
And the features that I'm mostly interested in is uh, uh, the workflow because uh, in the next gen project, you have the ability to add columns where you can have maybe columns like on hold or review, but there is no concept of a workflow where you have statuses and transitions. So I think this is something that I will be happy to see. There will be, I believe, a feature to add uh, permissions. And uh, this, this is something that I'm talking, th this is something that you can also take a look at uh, on the roadmap for next gen projects. But what I wanted to say in this video is that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I wanted to talk about the reporting capabilities. So next gen projects comes with uh, few reports, but if you're not happy with those reports, you can still use uh, your standard reports in a custom dashboards with uh, your familiar gadgets. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.